So one thing I also noticed here, which is probably related to these vibration isolation mounts on the motor degrading, causing the motor to kind of like angle because of the tension of the belt, is that the belt is not centered. The belt is at the bottom of the pulley, and I can tell in the back, you can see that the belt is riding on the bottom of the pulley flange on the motor, which makes it, the belt is kind of like wearing at the bottom here and making dust. And so I attribute that to these rubber damping mounts um, degrading, and it's causing the motor to tilt due to the tension of the belt. And so the back is squishing down more than the front now. And there's no real way to tighten this without replacing these rubber bushings. And you can hear it. You can hear it squeaking, especially at low RPMs. It's squeaking because it's rubbing against that flange. And this is how these vibration isolation mounts on here are made. So there's a central bolt, socket head cap screw, and then a small washer, and then a large washer. And here's the rubber mount. It doesn't fall apart on me. There's the rubber mount. So there's probably a, an identical one underneath like this. And you can see a little chunk of it fell out when I pulled this out. And there's a central metal cylinder that the force of the bolt passes through. And so that's where the bolt clamps down to. It doesn't clamp down to the motor mount itself. The motor mount is completely isolated with rubber. So when you're tightening the screw down, you're tightening it down against this internal metal cylinder. Let's take some measurements on here. These parts are most likely all in inches. So that cylinder is about 0.695. This rubber damper measures about one inch on the outside here, 0.69 on the inside. Total height is about 0.5. The flange height is 0.2. And the outside overall dimensions are 1.25. This washer measures 1.24, and then inside 0.4. The thickness of this big washer, 0 0.1145. This bolt, 0.3725, about 1.75. This little washer on top measures 0.875. Thickness of this one, 0 0.1195.